Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be sort of building off of the last tutorial. It's going to be just a sort of quick tip to speed up your production. Um, so if you didn't see the last tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and link that in the description below. It should be really, really close to the top so you can go check that out. It isn't necessary for this, um, but if you want to see how we kind of got here, then go for that. And then another just quick thing, remember the comments on YouTube are still kind of messing up. So if you got any like really burning questions, go ahead and just send me an email at that Adobe Masters official at gmail.com and I can help you out. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to sort of first describe what we're going to be doing here. So in the last video, we created this animation where basically this text came up like this and at the very end, it went back down. Now, this is a three layer effect. Imagine if you had like 20 or 25 layers. When you get to the very end, reversing it might get a little bit complicated. What I did to reverse it was we went up to the keyframes here. And so we had these keyframes. Basically what I did was I just hit Control C and then Control V. And then I moved this one over past this. Then I clicked this one and I dragged it back like so. And we just basically reorganized the keyframes so that it did the reverse of this. You know, you kind of have to get the spacing right. You have to count out the steps and stuff like that. But it works for smaller animations. However, there's a quicker way to do it. And it requires a little bit more thought and a little bit more sort of organization. But it can save you a lot of time, especially if you get into more complex effects in Premiere Pro. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this effect that we created and we're going to be making just another way to end the effect to have it to basically have it do the inverse of how it came in do the exact same thing to go out so what we did was we created a nested composition this way we kept it all organized inside the lower third you know we can drag and drop as many of these as we want now and then we don't have to deal with three files so what we're going to do is we're going to go even one farther we're going to highlight these we're going to right click on it and we're going to nest it one more time and let's name this something like lower third final like so and so now let's double click and let's go into this one actually this uh we don't need to go in here i just kind of want to show you that all of our footage is now in this one but the lower third is kind of where we want to be the reason i did this was that so it would all become one video once it's one video this effect becomes really really simple to pull off so we've got our effect right here and let's say right about here we kind of want to start making the change of it to go out or you know somewhere in the future right here so what we can do is we can actually take this we need control c when we hit control c we want to make sure that the video two or three is selected here not video one so it doesn't overwrite it we want to paste it here and then now we can sort of see it and it didn't you know cut something we didn't want it to we can right click on this and then go to speed and duration and all we have to do is click this button right here reverse speed click ok on that and now this video is completely reversed. So how is that helpful? Well, now, if you notice at the very end over here, we have the how it came in at the exact opposite. So we don't have to animate it. It's already here for us, and it reversed all the keys frames for us. So we can find the beginning of this, and now we can cut this down to right here and drag this wherever we want it to, to end. So let's say we wanted to go to here, um, and we want it to end right here. So now we can cut the back end off and drag this reversed footage right onto the end here and click play. And now you see that it does the exact same thing. And the cool part about this is now it is an exact symmetrical representation of the beginning onto the end. So they're exactly identical because all we're doing is reversing it. And just like that, we've reversed it. So like I said, if there was, if in here we had 400 of these things, we didn't have to touch all the keyframes in them. All we had to do was just reverse the very end and stick it back on. And now we have a reversed piece of footage and now we can go back into GoPro and you'll see that we have the uh, right in the bottom right there you'll see the effect going on and then at the end if we click play you'll see it goes out in the exact reverse form as it now we might need to rename these lower third and lower third final um, to something that's a little bit less I guess you would say like ambiguous because you wouldn't understand which one is which but that kind of comes down to naming convention so just make sure that you understand that this is the one you want to drag and drop and then this is where all the actual footage is like I said it requires a little bit more organization might be a little bit more complex at first however at the end it really saves you some time and it allows you to actually move this effect around so if you want it to be shorter now it's shorter you don't have to go affect a bunch of different keyframes if you want it to be longer you can make it longer just like that and you can also right click on uh, a portion of this and make it a freeze frame so you can actually make it really long and basically do whatever you want with it. I think it adds a lot more flexibility to the effect. And like I said, if you got really quick at this, um, explaining it took like what, two or three minutes. So doing it might actually take like 30 seconds, 35 seconds. And then you can reverse any complex effect that you create 
with just one button click, which is right click, speed duration, reverse speed. That is the quick tip I kind of wanted to just throw your, your way. Um, just something I learned while creating a bunch of different animations is a lot of times you do want to have that symmetrical ending. Really, really simple to just reverse the speed. That is going to be it on this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. I may or may not be able to respond to them. If you got any burning questions that you really want to know the answer to, go ahead and send me an email at that new email, adobemastersofficial at gmail.com. And I'm kind of working on a system so that we can um, kind of have a better way of answer questions that isn't dependent on YouTube. So I'll, I'll link that in the future um, when I get it all set up. Other than that, if you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.